Okay, what we're going to do is learn how to set up a database with GoDaddy. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into the hosting account. This is the My Account Overview section. So we go into the hosting account here by clicking on hosting on the left hand corner of My Products. It takes a little bit. And you scroll down a little bit, you can see this area right here that says Launch. And that will take you to this somewhat of a C panel that uh, GoDaddy has. And click on Settings. As you can see here, you can check your list of domains and everything. But what we're trying to do is set up a database. So we click on Databases right here. And we already have a couple. We're going to go ahead and add one. You write the name of the database. And what I'm doing is actually storing my information here, sorry. So this way I remember it. I got something to go back to. Okay, and for the password, you want to have something very secure, obviously. I'll put some characters in there and everything. Okay. And what we do is we just click OK. I'm going to do 5.0. Oops, yeah, we can't do the underscore for the username. Also have some restrictions as far as passwords go with GoDaddy, so we have to limit them between seven and fourteen characters. Let's see if we got it this time. There we go. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to wait for the setup, and then we can actually click on this link here. So I'll explain to you how you can obtain the uh, host name and how you can get the uh, actual database link, the URL to the MyPHP admin. So it's a little bit different than other sites. So right here, as you see, I clicked on the edit pencil. This is the host name. So when you're actually setting up or creating a website like WordPress and you have to do the configuration, and sometimes when you're working with a site, you can have it put on localhost. Well, it's different for GoDaddy, so you have to get its unique host name. So this is where you would obtain that at. Okay, so now it looks like we have our uh, link here. It's all set up. So what I can do is I can just go ahead and open it up in a new tab. And there you go. There's our database. So it's all created. And I can just save my URL from the top here. And we are all good. And that's how you set up a database with GoDaddy. Thank you. And uh, please visit us at BrodyWebDesign.com. Thank you.